Jake Ludington here, and I'm going to walk you through how to edit the LM hosts file on your computer. Now, it's important to keep in mind that Windows does not actually include a LM hosts file uh, on your computer. It includes a sample file, lmhost.sam. So one of the things we're going to need to do here is actually create the file. I'll show you how to do it, how to make it work. One of the steps that you're going to have to take in order to make this all work is you need to make sure that you are exposing all of the file extensions for the files that you want to edit. That way, when you create this LM host file, you can see if the .txt extension is actually appended to it or if you've truly got a file with no extension after it. And that's going to be important because a LM host.txt does nothing on your system, no matter what folder you put it in. LM hosts without the .txt will actually work as long as it's in the correct folder. So keep that in mind. Um, to do that, uh, the easiest thing that I find to do is uh, open, open Windows Explorer, hit Alt-F on the keyboard so that it uh, pulls up the, the menu, and then go to Tools and Folder Options, and then you're going to go to View, and in this list here, you're going to want to, uh, actually you may want to show hidden files while you're there anyway. Um, hide extensions for known file types. Make sure you uncheck that particular uh, box and then click apply. Okay. You can use the lmhosts.sam file as a starting point or you can just create your own uh, blank document in Notepad. Uh, either way you can get to the same result but it's helpful to use the .sam file because that way uh, you can read the notes on how to use the file properly. First thing you want to do is go to the start menu, uh, find notepad, uh, which is, uh, depending on how often you use it, it might show up in, in your frequently used programs. Otherwise, it's in the accessories folder uh, in the Windows start menu. And before you just click on that to launch it, you want to right click and actually choose run as administrator. Uh, this part's a little bit obvious, but we're going to walk through it anyway. We go to file, open, and then the file that you want is stored in Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, etc. Uh, and you're going to have to change from text documents to all files in order to be able to see it. And in the list, then you'll see lmhost.sam. Click on that. Click Open. And the sample file is then opened. And you can browse through, uh, read uh, how it explains to do things. Uh, the, the really simple thing to do is just to scroll down to the section where they show IP addresses and network names and then at the end of that line just hit enter and then you're going to type in the IP address that you want to use in this case I'm going to use 192.168.1.100 and then hit the tab key and I'm going to have that be the computer called Jake. The trick here in saving the elmhost.sam file is you don't actually want it to have the .sam extension when you're all done you want it to have uh, no extension at all. So uh, that's going to actually be a, a kind of a two-part process because um, Notepad wants to save everything with the .txt extension and you can't force it not to. Go up to the file menu and you want to do save as because you don't want to overwrite that .sam file. Um, you're going to take the uh, .sam and the dot off of the end of the LM host file. Click save. Now when you go to the uh, Windows System 32 drivers etc folder you can see that the LM host has a .txt extension. You can change that by right clicking on it, renaming it, and then you go over and you take .txt out of it. Windows will warn you if you change the file extension the file might become unusable. You don't care. You don't want to use the file extension. Click yes and now you have an LM host file that will actually do anything that is included in the instruction set in that LM host file. There you have it. That's how you edit the LM host file. Easy enough.